Welcome back traders to a new video. Today I'll be talking about a trade that I did today. Today I traded Myrna calls and I made a total of $7,195. But today I want to be talking more about what I did, how I did it rather than how much I made. Um, so watch the full video and then if you have any questions you could put in the comments section below or you could message me on Twitter. I'll, my, uh, my Twitter link will be in the description box below. Uh, but just make sure you finish watching the full video uh, Before we get started just a quick thing my uh, my one month option course is still for sale You can still get it You'll still get all the material that you have missed and if you're watching this video You know after the fact after my course has ended you could check out the link in the description Check out my site what I have available. Let's get right into the trade So let's put in Myrna and let's see what I did. Let's pop up the one minute chart um, and again, today it's more about what I did, how I did, rather than how much money I made. Um, so I'm going to be talking about my full thought process on this full trade. Now, before we even get into the trade as what I did, why I did it, how I did it, my thought process, let's talk about first why was Moderna even on my watch list? Why was I watching Moderna? Well, here I'm in Awesome Calls Trading chat room. If you're not in it, just, just join the Awesome Calls. Link will be in the description. Um, you get these notes before the market opens. So pretty much here we see that Myrna joining the S&P 500. Now the S&P 500 is something very big. It's you know something that every company wants to be in. So M Moderna finally is in it. Okay, now we have to know how to play. So here, as AJ says, you know, pop at the open to 282, then a solid five to ten points to the upside. If not, then 275, and then look for five to eight points pullback. All right. So I had all of my price lines here i didn't really have any price lines to the downside because i really wanted to play to the upside so as you can see it went down now one of one of the biggest questions that people were asking me already on this trade is why did i not wait for the 282 you know once the stock popped it popped to 282 why did i enter all the way here now you could have entered at the 282 when it crossed here but the reason i didn't wait too long is because as you can see AJ said that if it crosses 277, then take it to the downside. Now, you could have taken it a few points to the downside, but for since it was all the way at 272, for it to go to all the way to 282, that's a whole 10 points. And 10 points is a lot for this stock. So I thought that if I waited for it to cross all the way to uh, 282, it wouldn't have that much more space to the upside. So that's why I entered right here. So I entered in right here, you know, thinking that it's going to be, a, you know, it's a nice breakout. So I thought, you know, this is a nice bottom curl. So, you know, you're, I'm getting in on the third green candle. So maybe I could take it up. So I got in here and I see that, you know, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. But I want a little bit more because, again, S&P 500 is something very big. So I wait and wait. But then all of a sudden, the stock decides to pull. And... It pulls, it pulls. I'm like, okay, I'll just wait and be in it. You know, I'll just wait for it to go back up because, you know, it's on the S&P 500. I know it's going to go up. But here's the issue. Um, when I'm trading the stock, it is a Friday. And I got the same day expiration date. So the stock, the contracts expire today, the day that I'm trading it. So in my mind, I'm like, okay, I can't hold it for too long because of Theta. Theta is going to destroy me. Uh, because, you know, as time goes by, Theta is just going to eat your contracts alive and your contracts are going to decrease in value very, very rapidly, okay? So these two red candles, first of all, murdered me. I was down a total of $3,000. So um, here's the contracts, actually, on the re uh, left side. Um, so let's, where is it? If we go to where I was purchasing it, which is right here. So I purchased the contracts for around $500. Actually, let me tell you exactly. I purchased the contracts for $465. And then it pulled back all the way less than two. So I was down like around $3,000 on the trade, which is more than 50%. Um, now, this is something that I don't really do. I actually barely do this at all because usually on a regular day, I would just sell it on a little pull and I will find a different entry. So pretty much I could have sold here and then I could have re-entered somewhere around here when it was, you know, breaking out again. But I did not do that because I was very certain in Myrna and that it would go back up. But it didn't for, you know, for a little bit. So these two red candles were a killer to not only my contracts, but whoever else was in it. But then I saw this consolidation. So consolidation is pretty much when the stock is kind of at the same point. So it's moving between two, around a point. So around $1, the stock is moving. 
And, you know, I just see it and see it and see it. And each green candle, I think it's going to, you know, go up and go up, go up. But it doesn't go back down. So now here, the very biggest, um, the very biggest point here is if it would have crossed right here. So this line, the uh, 273.60, I would have probably market sold and took a big loss. Um, and I, I would have, if it did, I said to myself that if it crosses this line right here, I'm going to sell, even though I take a, I'm going to take a loss, but I'll just re-enter and whatever. But uh, fortunately, fortunately, it didn't cross that line and I did not have to sell for a big loss. So I was just in it. I was in it. And this whole time, my contracts are actually decreasing in value little bit by little bit because again, theta and also volatility. So then I see this green candle right here, this pop. And I think, okay, this is the green candle because it kind of broke out. It's going to go up. And then this red candle happens. And I'm like, okay, I'm probably going to have to sell because, you know, if there's a big re green candle and then a red candle following, usually that means that the red candle is going to, you know, it's going to take the stock more down. So I'm like, okay, I'm just going to sell it here, take my $3,500 loss because, again, the $3,000 when I was down was here. Here it pro probably would have been $3,500 when I would have sold. Again, because it's the same day expiration and also volatility. But then I start seeing this green candle and then, you know, it went down a little bit. And then, so here I'm still down around two, high 2000s. And if you can see that right here, I'm still down around 2000, but I purchased at around the same point even. So I, uh, right here when the stock is higher than what I purchased, but I'm still down to that over $2,000. So that is why here I needed to make the decision that, okay, am I just going to keep the 10 contracts I have, take it up and just break even or maybe make a little bit of profit or do I want to be really profitable? Now, again, I remember that the news was very big. The news was the stock is gonna is on S&P 500 now. I'm like, okay, the stock has to run. So that's why I added five contracts here so that I could be a little bit more profitable. So I add five contracts here and then I see this big green candle. Now, I decided to buy another five contracts because I really, I'm really trusting the stock. I really think that it will go more to the upside. All right. So I buy these five contracts and on this next green candle, after I bought those five contracts, I am finally green. I'm not green a lot, maybe like a couple hundred dollars green, but I am green. Finally, I am green. So as you can see, the green candle right here, where I purchased the five contracts the last time is this green candle right here. So as you can see that the last five contracts I purchased were actually cheaper than the first 10 I've purchased because I purchased the first 10 for uh, around somewhere here. What was it? 465. And then the second contracts I purchased for 409. So it was actually somewhere around here. So a lot cheaper. But even though you can see on the stock that it is a lot higher than what I purchased the first time. Again, it's because of volatility and also theta time is decaying very, you know, time of decay. So, okay, so here I'm finally even, thank God. And then, so AJ has this price target of 282. So that is why, so pretty much when I saw these two red candles, they didn't really scare me because I knew that it would just bounce a little bit, go down and then go more up because again, this is a resistance point. So this didn't scare me that much. If it did go a little bit more down, I would have probably sold and I would have just taken a little loss instead of taking a $3,000 loss. But I decided to hold because, again, I've done all of this work, all of this stress. I'm not just going to leave this just empty handed or, you know, just a little, little loss or a little profit. I want a profit because I know Moderna is going to move. So then it did move and did move. And then this red candle, I didn't really see coming, but it did pull a little bit and went back up. So this was kind of like a green and red candle. And then this red candle went a little bit down, but then it went back up. So it didn't really scare me. And then I sold right here on this pop. Now, this pop was a little bit scary. Um, why? Because it did pop, but then it went back down. And I'm like, okay, it's going down. Let me just sell on the next pop. So it did pop again. I sold and I'm out. So that's why I did sell here. And also, it was very close to the uh, 287 price target that AJ gave that the stock will go up to. So it was very close. So I thought, okay, maybe it's just going to go a little bit more up and then it'll just go back down. And that's actually exactly what it did. That it did go a little bit more up. And then it went down and sold off for the rest of the day. The stock right now is at $280. All right. So hopefully that made sense to everyone as to why I purchased here, why I added on here, why I added again. Again, I added, I kept added twice because I wanted to be green. If I didn't make these two ads, um, 
so I sold at 780 so I would have been up, I mean, a good $3,000, but again, I didn't know that the stock is going to go that much up. Maybe I would have sold somewhere here. So that's why I wanted to add five, like 10 more contracts just so that I'm green. So hopefully this all makes sense as to what I did and when I did it and why I did it, you know, my thought process and all of that. And actually, one more thing that I just noticed is, um, so the contracts, as you can see, the stock... I, so the stock highest was right here uh, at 288 and the contracts hit almost $1,000. Uh, the contracts right now, the stock right now is at 279 which is not too much lower. You know, it's still in the middle, but look at where the contracts are right now. It is less than $200. So if you look at the contracts, they just start decreasing, you know, little bit by little bit, again, because of theta, time of decay. It is Friday. So today is the last day the contracts are going to be available. So the contracts at the end of the day are going to be at zero. You know, they're going to be worthless. So that's why the contracts are going little bit by little bit down. So that's why I tell everyone don't hold uh, contracts on same day expiration. You're just going to get destroyed as in this example where the con... Let me actually zoom out a little bit so that you can see how it wrap. Look at this. It just goes down and down and down. I mean, yes, it popped a little bit here because probably the stock popped. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so the stock popped right here. That's why it popped, but it's still eventually it's just going, you know, de uh, decreasing slowly by slowly. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, make sure you follow my Twitter. It's free. Um, I post all of my trades here daily um, and, you know, anything else that's important. So make sure you follow my Twitter. Link will be in the description. You can check out my course. Link will also be in the description. And also... I don't work for AJ. I don't work for Act Chatroom. I I am in it myself. I am one of you where I am one of the traders that follows. I highly recommend you join it. I don't get anything out of it. You know, I just highly recommend it because that's what really um, taught me how to trade good, you know, how to really read stocks and all of that. And then my strategy is more for options, you know, how I trade options with AJ's notes. So, you know, check take, take a look at it if you're not in Act Chatroom. Yeah, you know, it's not going to kill you just check it out if you're interested join if you're not don't i can't force you but thanks thank you so much for watching hopefully you have a good rest of your day like this video it helps me a lot also subscribe so that you don't miss any future videos and i will catch you on the next video